Welcome to MPA's virtual fitness class. Through its wellness program, MPA provides one hour and 30 minute fitness workouts. We encourage you to join in any of the scheduled classes. All classes are recorded, so if you missed the live class, check out the MPA website. Select the wellness program page for the links of previous class videos. Have fun working out. Here's Milan. Welcome back, welcome back. Today is all upper body day today. So get your light and heavy weight. It's gonna be primarily heavy weight because I like to leave you guys off with, on uh, our Friday, I like to leave you guys off with um, a lot of muscle building. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be leaving off today with a lot of muscle build. Nice to know that it's not gonna be, not gonna be dripping sweat. We're gonna be doing low reps, heavy weight, and a lot of recovery. So I wanna get that muscle to capacity and we don't have to go doing a whole lot of this to get to capacity. It's just, we're gonna be lifting heavy and we're gonna be lifting um, often. All right, guys, so get your weights. I'll give you a second to grab that. So we're gonna start off with, I got something special today. I got my medicine ball out today so that I can stay consistent with the weight. Um, I don't have a free weight that's 15 pounds, but I do have a 15 pound medicine ball. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a, um, we're gonna start off with getting our back nice and loose. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross our legs just like that, right? And we're gonna come on down just to get that tension off of our back. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. You can give a little twist to it. That way and the opposite way. It always likes to be even. Oh, good. Nice. Other side. Come on down. Oh, 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice and twist. Three, four, five. Other side. For one, two, three, four, five. Good. And up. Oh, nice. All right. Now. Just to get the buys and tries warmed up, let's go with the first set light. And it's probably the only time we're gonna touch the light. Even on the laterals, I'm gonna be using the 15 pound uh, medicine ball as opposed to uh, the eight pound weights. So say hello to your workout weight for today. And then we're not gonna see it again. All right, let's go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Go ahead, put them down. Like I said, it's only the last probably a few times you're gonna see it today. All right, now go ahead and grab your big boys. Woo. Uh, all right, and let's go. Singles on 20, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Already, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten again. One, two, three, four, ah, five, six, seven, eight, ah, nine, ten. It sounds like a lot, 20, but it's actually only 10 on each arm. So don't fool yourself like you're doing a whole lot of work. We would have to do 40 
Oh, yeah. We would have to do 40. Oh, yes. Oh, that last I wanted to be a little stubborn. Yes, baby. Two big releases on the left and the right. Oh, man, that felt terrific. Thank you, body. Now, we're going to move straight to the hard stuff. Let's get the hard stuff out of the way, because normally we like to start easy and end hard, but that's when we're doing body weight and lightweight. When it applies to heavy stuff, new, new, new. Let's get that out of the way first, all right? Let me bring you guys in a little bit closer, because I feel like I'm dark. Do I seem dark to you, Jasmine? No, you were good. Really? It seemed like I was, okay. I'll go back then. I'll just keep the light there. So let me turn it like that. Yeah, I like that better. All right, all right, cool. Now, let's get the medicine ball in here. You guys haven't seen my medicine ball. But yes, I have a ball, of course. My baby right here. TRX-15, it's a slam ball, actually what it's used for. See how it doesn't bounce, it's a slam ball, actually. Medicine slash slam. And a slam ball is a lot different than a regular medicine ball. So a medicine ball, you would break it if you slammed it on the ground like this. This is like quadruple the rubber, okay, guys? So it's not just your typical medicine ball. It's actually a slam ball. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna do rotations like this. Ow! Let me take these off and let me tuck my shirt in. I'm gonna do rotations, circles like that. Because now what I'm doing is, is I'm taking the lateral and the oblique move and turning it into one. And I'm being consistent. So I'm gonna do 10 in one direction and 10 in the other direction, I hope. And also I'm involving that lat to get involved. All right, and those shoulders. So it's a much more complete exercise. All right, so off to the left. Ah, one, two, three, four, ah, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, Woo, break, all right, hydrate, Woo. all right, same thing, opposite direction, take every opportunity to get my little stretch in, all right, opposite direction now to the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ah. I wanted to show you guys that the last few times. That's basically what I'm doing. When I'm driving it up this way, both hands are on it, but the bottom arm is doing all the work. I swing over and then the other arm is doing all the weight coming down. So nobody ever gets a break. <sighs> Whew. That was no joke. All right. Now I'm going to keep with the ball and go for my presses. No, actually, I'm going to jump back up to the heavyweight and go for my presses. But what I am going to do is I'm going to come and grab my extra pad for my knees. I'm going to cross it over just like that, come on down, and I'm going to go for my overhead presses with my heavy weight on my knees. So the simple fact is now I can't um, cheat and move my legs and help my legs drive me up. So it's going to be a little bit more bearing. And what we're going to do is we're going to go five on the double and then five on the single. All right, so equivalent for a real 10. Not an alternating 10, five here and then five here 
and then five here. All right. Oh, ready? I love rip days. They're tough, but you don't get all sticky. Let's go. Ah, five on the double. Let's go. Ah, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Ah. See how rip day works. Heavy lifting, low reps, heavy weight. All right, now, superset that muscle. We did presses. Now we're gonna grab the ball and go for our laterals. We went linear, I mean, we went lateral here. Now we're gonna go linear. Remember to keep your posture, that butt is there, all right? We're gonna get some 3D action going, you ready? Let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can allow it to be a little more of the range of motion with the medicine ball. I almost forgot about my baby right here for these workouts. Literally halfway mark, we got one more set of these and then we're gonna start all over again. See if we can't get through two, maybe three, but I know we're gonna try to get through two. All right, make sure you bring it up high enough. And if you can try to start stop mid mass so that you come here Stop about here and bring it right back up. That way you keep those lats engaged, okay? Yeah, those shoulders are gonna burn, but we're gonna have those lats on fire as well. And that's what we want. All right, target those lats. Let's go for 10 and one, two. See how I'm stopping mid-mass? Three, four, that's all my lats stopping me right there, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Yes, hydrate. I need some actual water. Super piece is a little sweet. Whew. All right. All right, let's bring it back now. We don't need to get warmed up with the lightweight. Let's just go for our heavyweight on the curl for 20, alternating. We're not to capacity yet. You see there? See the vein is starting? Nothing there, a little bit there. So when we get to capacity, you'll get extremely vascular. All right, so let's try to get there right now. I wanna to get to capacity today. Woo. Uh, I'm gonna isolate a little bit more on this one just to make it a little bit harder. And I'm gonna go between a flat and a hammer curl just to make it tougher on myself. All right, I want that capacity today. And it's just different ways to modify to get it. See how much less I'm moving? Making my arms do even more work. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, 
I want that again. I'm gonna roll through. I think three is gonna get me to capacity. Two is not gonna do it. All right, let's get going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah! Ah! Wow. That's it right there. Come on down. Oh, that was intense, guys. All right, five and then five. Or should we do five and then 10? I think we should do five and then 10, or 10 and five. 10 on the double, five on the singles. Yes. All right. Switching it up. Let's go. Let's get it. Come on, push. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, 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 ah. Recovery. All right, that heart rate come down. You can drop one at a time, no need to grab two. Hand on your hip. All right, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, two, three. Four, five, ah, feel too good. I was activating that lat too. Trying to get to pack capacity so I can have that ensure weight build. I mean, muscle build. All right, let's go. One. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, baby. All right.
All right. We got lateral linears. Ready? Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, man, yes. All right. Now, like I said, I'm going to give you some 3D now. And I think we got time for just the buys again. And then to our stretch. If I don't stretch you out, you're going to be tight. All right. Here we go. Last 10. Get your posture right. And let's get it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, get rid of it. We're gonna come back to our curls. That should take us to our last bit of capacity. And then we're gonna bring it to our stretch. Yeah, buddy. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 10 and then 10 so that we get a true 20. All right, Woo. this is gonna get you to capacity, I guarantee. All right, 10 on the double. Ready? Let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. That won't do it, nothing will. All right, now only you need a single weight at this point. Ooh, we try to make it true. Keep it turned away if you can. And I'm gonna put it up against my body, the hardest one of all, super isolation. Let's go. 10, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. Ah, ah. Two, one. Ah, ah, ah. I'm gonna show you capacity in a second. Oh, that's capacity. Get around. Yeah, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Still probably got a little bit more room, but yeah, I'm getting there. All right, same thing over here, let's go. 10, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, ah, one, ah, ah, nine, nine, nine. All right. That's all the time we have, ladies and gentlemen, for that. Let's bring it to our stretch. Slide your weights out of the way. Woo! Get rid of your gloves. You can do this on the ball. If you have your bag handy, you can grab your bag. You can do it on the ground. But my ball right here, my medicine ball, is going to be my best friend right now. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. And let me show you guys capacity. So you remember how my arm started off? Now look how vascular I am. So that's capacity. It's not about trying to show off or be anything like that. What this is telling you is that you've worked your muscle, that your capillaries, your veins, and your main artery has got to the capacity of its blood flow. So as much blood can flow through there as much as possible, which makes your veins, you know, expand. All right. So as you start, your veins start to retract or recede. Okay, they'll recede back down. That's when you're going back to actual. So you know, right now the, the body has to produce, the heart has to produce more blood to move that muscle along, okay? That's all that's happening. So once you get to the capacity, it's not heart capacity because you, know, you could be running and do a whole lot more, but muscle capacity, and that's why we have to do cardio in order for the, the bicep, tricep, and the muscles to be able to hold more. That's why every time that we, so we never plateau, we never have plateau. Because what we do is we do cardio to build to the next step. That's why cardio is imperative when you're doing this, all right? Because you can do a cardio workout without doing cardio at all. But for us to consistently build a result without plateauing, we're not bodybuilders. We want to yield a, a constant result, different result all the time. It's going to take us doing cardio in between our muscle training and resistance training. All right, guys? So that's what that's all about. All right, so let's stress these buys and tries out. And we'll do them just right here. I won't even involve the ball. I'll keep it really simple. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to sit down, legs forward. Right? And you've seen this, me do this one before. See how I'm scooching forward, palms down. You're just going to scooch forward, stretching those buys out. Just like that. And then if you can, once you get to that range, then if you can bend that elbow, oh, that releases that back too. Mm, two releases right there on the back. Thank you, body. Ah, uh, see how it works inconsistent, co uh, cohesively with each other. Now, if you can straighten out one, keep one bent. Mmm. Other side, straighten and then bend. Oh, yeah, baby. That's shoulder and bicep to the next power if this is done right. I mean, I am feeling that through these biceps like crazy. I don't want to actually stretch them too much because I don't want to take away too much of that muscle that I built. I don't want to stretch the muscle away. I just want to get myself some elasticity. All right, now, next one is for the shoulders. Oh, man, and my glutes, I'm telling you, I, tell, I need to be rolled out like dough. All right, so now I'm gonna give you a side view. So hand here, here I'll do this side first. Hand here, and just give it a little nudge to adjust. Just a little nudge right about there, so the hand is there. And then we come over here. And then interlace them. If they can't interlace, then just them touching is enough. But if they can interlace like so, then that's the business. All right. And hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and gently release. I don't know what I just did to my watch. And then here again, this one goes up here and just walk it down, interlace. This side is a lot more flexible and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and gentle release. Because that jarring movement, if you let go and that hand slams down, that's a jarring movement on that shoulder, and we don't want that. All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in all this week. If you made that Cataloni, um, you are in heaven. I've just finished the second batch. I'm about to have lunch with it right now, the crab version that I made, and then I'm going to come back um, 
for the, uh, the vegetarian stuff tonight. That's the perfect way to eat, eat all your protein now. And then eat, if you want to have something later on, I'll be going vegetarian. So it's be digest for me, for me to go to sleep. See how that works? Simple adjustments. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you got a great workout. I hope you got your capacity. And now you're building muscle for the next 72 hours. No BS here. Everything I say is real. Check it out. Inspect me. All right. Again, thank you for tuning in. Hope you had an awesome week with me this week. We're going to have another awesome week next week and even more results. All right, guys. Take care of yourself and each other. Bye-bye.